the same old kingdom Building empires made of freedom Winning the Juno Awards was such an honor and to me really was like the confirmation or was proof that I do have the best team because it's really a matter of teamwork and it's about who's surrounding you and allowing me as an artist to do what I want but also thinking on the challenge of everything else that is like logistics and more technical side so I feel very lucky for the team that I have and I feel like this Juno I know it's a cliche but it really does belong to them mostly so a lot of gratitude So the trilogy and this album, especially the last one coming out, uh, it all came together because I realized that the history that we were told in history books or in, in classes, already it's very little and it's told by the winners. But on the other side, we have the emotional memory or collective memory that is hidden within music and, and historical moments and the impact they had on humans was hidden within the music. So I found this so... Um, inspiring to see how important music can be as something that brings us and carries the memories of certain things and but the authentic and raw side of it where it's really the emotion and the human so I started with blues uh, blue the nighttime the the darkness the heaviness of those moments of history then I went into the jazz uh, era which was the civic rights movement but also a form of liberation not only on a political point of view but also on an artistic point of view to me it's one of the things that impacted me the most most because it tells you to create as you wish to not feel limited by what has been already established so that was very freeing as an artist to be reminded of that through jazz and now we're attacking soul with three little words because soul to me is one of the most important um, vectors of light. There's something from soul to soul. It's like a direct communication of emotions and and the voices that kind of uh, carried me as a as a teen, like Aretha Franklin and things like that, discovering Motown, and all the way to Lauren Hill and to Neo Soul and Erika Badu. So I wanted to really take the time to share all these influences and how jazz basically had all these ramifications that became very joyful but started from a type of music and an era that was a bit harder and harsher in the way things were being uh, communicated. The thing that I love about Montreal and growing up here and developing my art here is the fact that it is a very, there's a big community aspect in it because there's a lot of musicians, a lot of artists so from the musical scene aspect, it's just so rich and so welcoming. It's very, uh, they just want more people. It's about jamming, it's about collaborating all day long. So that side really talks to me a lot. And then later on, I realized that because I've always been very attracted by the street art. So the walls and the, the alleys having all these hidden messages and even it's within the culture uh, to promote street art and to encourage artists to to write what they need to say or to express what they need to say on the walls because it's again a form of freedom where if advertisement gets to have big billboards I don't see why artists wouldn't get to say what they want on the same walls because it's our city it's all of our city and we need to to have the freedom to to use and exploit all these spaces so in that aspect I feel like Montreal visually and in emotionally had a lot to to bring to anyone who wants to dive into arts. Uh, the pandemic and the quarantine side is like this, but I was very lucky because I had already uh, written the songs. So I got to go into the studio with distanciation and everything for sure. We were very safe, but I felt super lucky that I was not in a promoting period or anything like that. I was really, I needed to be in the studio to uh, sing songs about light, about um, healing, about positive energy, because that's exactly 
what we need right now. So I needed it the most since it's, you know, it was me. I was alone with the mic for a while and being able to sing those songs uh, felt amazing. And being able to detach, it feels like a bubble. The studio becomes the safe space where uh, there is no such thing as COVID or anything else. And that felt um, very good. And I feel like it's part of what kept me going and allowed me to remain somewhat leveled through this whole madness. My biggest inspirations, really, it's hard to say because I find so many people and so many things inspiring. So musically, for sure, I remember having a big, um, a big shock when I listened to BB King at first with um, especially Lucille specifically as a song. The fact that he made his guitar sing was like, my mind was blown. Uh, and it's a story. I love storytelling through music. Um, Nina Simone for the person that she is and the, the part of history that she's become. So she's more than an artist. She's more than a singer. She is a, a Nikon by now and, and she deserves every bit of it. So she was very inspiring and she gave me a lot of strength. Uh, but I, I could go on and on about inspirations. My mom, for sure, because she's amazing. So there's a lot of people, whether they make music or not, or even just meeting someone um, having someone bring you coffee and be extra nice is like a, oh, a reminder that, yeah, there are super nice people all around, everywhere. You just find little gems. So I try to take inspiration everywhere I find it. Ooh, I would love to collaborate with so many people, er everybody. <laughs> uh, I would love to collaborate with Erika Badu, for sure, who doesn't. Uh, I would love to get to meet even just like smell the same air than Alicia Keys or um, Saint Nabose, the more modern artist is amazing. Sempa the Great, uh, Luz and the Yakuza. There's so many women, especially in the women's scene, strong female figures that are mad inspiring and that I feel I would learn a lot from collaborating with them. So pretty much anyone who sings with their heart would be a good collaboration for me. I don't know what the future holds for sure, but I know one thing I will try very hard to have a lot of good people around as I do now because I feel that that's what makes the journey uh, so fun and I just want to enjoy the life that I have and make sure that whatever I do feels right so more music uh, I can't wait to give hugs so a lot of hugging in the future and a lot of dancing whenever we're able to be in rooms with people I think those are the first goals that I'm setting to to remain um, hopeful uh, I would shout out everyone that I've been working with and has been supporting me in this uh, crazy period. So Kevin, hello, my manager, who was the first one to get on board this crazy project and build such a great team. Uh, Ansel Records, the whole label is amazing. Uh, Maison Fauve, Six Media, who take care of my of the publicist, uh, publicist aspect. Um, the studio where I recorded and the person who helped me with the album was Jacques Roy and Studio Opus, they've been a very important piece of the puzzle that has been bringing me a lot of support and a lot of love and light. So I'm very grateful. And all the musicians, from the ones that I play with uh, in the shows to the one who recorded on the album, thank you, thank you for all your time and good vibes.